Hey there all craft beer lovers, very much welcome to yet another beer review. So for this time around we got an interesting collaboration beer between 8 breweries on the channel tonight to take a look at. Uh, this is the uh, World Champions 2021 Hazy IPA. Uh, this one uh, clocks in at 7.5% uh, ABV in a 440 mil can. There we go, if you can see it there. It's brewed at the Two Earl Brewery in Denmark. It's a collaboration between the Two Earl and Whiplash Beer out of uh, Ireland, Boundary Brewing out of uh, Northern Ireland, Northern Monk out of uh, Leeds, I believe, in the UK, Basque Brewing out of uh, Spain, Fair State Brewing Cooperative uh, from Minneapolis in the States, Zagovo Brewery out of Croatia, I believe, Garage Beer out of Spain, and there we go, at Two Earl. Brewed at Two Earl. There we go, World Champions 2021 Hazy IPA. Simple uh, metallic can with a wraparound label. Let's pop it, guys, see what we get. Very, very interesting here. Alrighty. There we go, good deal of smoke. <clears throat> so I read somewhere that uh, this beer, oh, which looks really nice, is uh, hopped with, I think, Strata. Equanot, I believe, also, and uh, I don't remember the third. I think it was like third, three, sorry, three uh, different styles of hops they were using, and it is a collaboration between eight breweries from all around the world. Pretty cool. All right, guys, and uh, there we go. So, with that said, let's get on with it then. We got ourselves a pinkish worth of a nice bright white shining head. Very small bubbles on top. Uh, lovely. Certainly looks like mango juice or something. Very, very hazy indeed. There you go. Slow, mo slow moving carbonation. Looking fine. Aroma. Yeah, it's a really nice fruity... Really fruity, like a, like a little bit of mango puree going on. Guava, peach. Maybe a little bit of passion fruit. Yeah, it's almost like fruit puree, fruit cocktail. Yeah, it smells very, very nice. So with that said, guys, let's dive in and see what we get. Cheers, all. Not bad, not bad. Very nice. Slight initial su tropical sweetness. Slight hint of booze. Uh, I mean, it's not not super big on the ABV, but seven point five percent. So it's still, still not uh, not a a low ABV beer for sure. But it's not one of the most strong ones I've ever tried either. But you you do get a little bit of alcohol in there. Yeah, a little bit of grassy hops, slight initial sweetness, tropical sweetness, a little bit of that fruitiness to it, a little bit of a dry aftertaste. Body is decent, pretty good, mid-level, mid-level. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, it's certainly got a little bit of a, a spiciness to it as well, kind of a hop spiciness. Uh, all in all, it's a nice beer. It's a really nice beer. Not one of the best. It's not world class, but I mean, it's a decent beer, guys. Decent IPA, a little bit uh, richer in style. Looks like a New England style. Uh, nice lacing on the glass. There we go. Nice drinkability. Final sip. Yeah, I like it. It's nice. 
it's drinkable. It's got a decent body to it. Uh, that a little bit of that alcohol that I got on the beginning, it's uh, fading away a little bit now. So you're left with a little bit of that uh, hoppy, hoppy spiciness, grassy, a little bit of a dry back end, slight chalkiness at the back end as well. In the initial sweet fruit puree sweetness, but it doesn't linger, it doesn't stick around, and you're more into that hoppiness there. Uh, as I said, that kind of grassy hop spiciness there. But for me, it's a good beer. Uh, World Champions 2021 Hazy IPA, so a collaboration there between eight breweries. Not bad, guys. Brewed at too early in Denmark for me. Uh, doesn't really uh, blow me away. It's nothing outstanding, but it's a good, decent beer. 3.75 out of 5 for me. Thank you for watching.